On Sunday, the Miami Dolphins played a rather vanilla offense without Tua Tagovailoa allowing the defense to make plays and control the game. That won't be the case on Sunday. The Bills' defense is just as good as the New York Jets' defense but the difference is clear. Their offense is head and shoulders above the Jets and Miami can't completely rely on the defense keeping the Bills at bay, enter Tua Tagovailoa. So far, there is nothing concrete on whether he will or will not play on Sunday in the wild card round but if the Dolphins want a realistic chance at advancing to the Chiefs for the division round. The team needs Tua behind center, Skylar Thompson did everything the Dolphins wanted him to do last weekend. He managed the game and made no critical mistakes. Against the Bills, that won't be a luxury Miami can afford to get away with, while Thompson may end up starting, there is also a chance that Teddy Bridgewater gets cleared as well. Would Bridgewater give Miami a better shot at winning the game if Tua isn't cleared? Not likely because honestly, Bridgewater can't be relied upon to complete a game. Something he has yet to do this year after starting, Miami needs their ace quarterback, back on the field. The Dolphins almost pulled out a victory a few weeks ago when they capped a three-game road trip in Buffalo. Tua played well in the bad weather and the Dolphins came a defensive stop away from sweeping the Bills. Miami may get lucky with the weather on Sunday but the Bills are riding high on the fact that DeMar Hamlin returned home to Buffalo. Could he make an appearance at the stadium? Doesn't matter. Tua is Miami's best chance to win on Sunday and if he can't play, the Dolphins better have answers to put points on the board because field goals will not win that game.